area of circle is pi r square area of circle is pi r square so we will conclude circle uh, by using this area is pi r square circumference the perimeter of other regular figure is called here circumference because it is a circular so perimeter is termed as circumference and circumference of circle is 2 pi r circumference is 2 pi r right 2 pi r there is another term and that term is called semi circle semi circle semi means half as I told you already about the semicircle, semi means half, so half of the circle. So area of semicircle, semicircle, area of semicircle is pi r square by 2. It seems area of circle is pi r square and therefore area of semicircle is pi r square by 2. What will be the circumference of semicircle? Circumference of semicircle is pi r plus 2r. Because if it is a circular, complete circle, then it will be pi r, 2 pi r. Right now? If it is a circular thing, then it will be 2 pi r. But since it is a this type of thing, half of this, just half. It means this complete length must be equal to what? Pi r, half of this length, pi r, plus this length also to be taken into consideration. Because perimeter means sum of outer length. So this portion will be pi r, but this length is diameter, which is equivalent to 2r. So 2 pi r divided by 2, that is pi r plus 2r. This is the perimeter of circumference of semicircle, you can say. Perimeter of circumference is the same thing, right? Now, uh, thereafter we can consider about the sector. Another term is called sector. Sector. Sector is what? It is a part of the circle. Sector is nothing else but part of a circle. This one is called sector. The circle is divided into two segments. This is called minor sector and this is called major sector. The major one is called major sector. Major sector. The smaller one is called minor sector. Right? In both the way, if theta is the angle, if theta is the angle suspended by minor arc this one is called minor arc and this one is called major arc the complete circle is divided into two segments one by minor this is minor arc and this one is called major arc so this minor arc subtain an angle theta to the center so major arc must subtain an angle 360 minus theta right now if you want to calculate the area of minor arc, this is the area of this minor arc, then we need to calculate, this is called sector. So area of sector, minor sector is theta upon 360 into pi r square. Whether minor sector or major sector doesn't make difference, we can calculate both the way, both the things by using the same formula that area of sector is theta upon 360 multiplied by pi r square. Sometimes it is also given that you need to calculate the area of not sector but a segment like this. Area of sector, if it is given like this and we need to calculate the area of segment. Segment is what? This one is segment, consider to be segment, uh, this one is segment, outside of triangle. So what you need to do is, you can calculate the area of 
sector minus area of triangle. So area of segment is equal to area of segment is equal to area of sector minus area of triangle. Area of sector minus area of triangle. Area of triangle can be calculated by using the area of triangle formula, but I have an idea. Area of sector is theta upon 360 into pi r square, right? And area of triangle can be calculated as 1 by 2 r square sin theta. That is nice formula in which you can deal with this question. Hmm? Theta is an angle, sin theta. I will tell you what is the value of theta and how it can help. Sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, that is also equally important and you need to learn all of them also. So, sin theta, if you use this, you can calculate it. Otherwise, there is other formula to calculate the area of triangle also. 1 by 2 into base into height. If it is an equilateral triangle, then root 3 by 4 into side square, etc. So, that is also the another way to calculate. But area of sector easily can be calculated, segment can be easily calculated by using this formula. <coughs> area of sector. Okay. So this is all the formula about two dimensional, two dimensional uh, figure of related to mensuration. And we have to go with some question and thereafter we will discuss some more formula related to three dimensions, right? In two dimensions, we cannot calculate the volume. Volume cannot be calculated or volume does not make any sense. Suppose there is a plate, we cannot calculate the volume of the plate. There is a, some plate is there or a piece of paper paper is there, we cannot calculate the volume, right now, volume is now, because it is considered to be two dimension, so two dimension are length and breadth only, because volume is anything which occupies some space, the space contained by a body is called its volume, so that is why volume will have only for three dimensional figure, like cylinder, like this room, room is considered to be cuboid or cube or cone or a sphere. So these are something which we will discuss later on by using the same concept. But uh, till now, do some questions so that you will be able to um, learn how to deal with the situation and what are the basic uh, things which you have to keep in mind during solving of the question. But I will request you just uh, spend 5-7 minutes and be familiar with what we did till now. Uh, spend 5-7 minutes so that you will be familiar with the formula at least. So while we uh, solve some question, you will be familiar with the formula. Read twice or thrice, mm -hmm. next 5-7 minutes. <coughs> 